All right, let's talk neat video. How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Datsy. Welcome to another Wedding Walkthrough Wednesday. Today we will be talking about this plugin I use and it is called Neat Video. So before I had the Sony a7S III, I used this plugin a lot because it saved me so many times you have no idea. These Sony cameras are great and all for low light, but sometimes you just gotta like boost the ISO to an incredibly high number and you can introduce a lot of noise and that is where this plugin comes in it is called neat video what it basically does is it just cleans up your video clip so that's why it's called neat video so you'll notice on a lot of high noise uh, clips you will see a lot of artifacts and a lot of that thick grain that is on your clips if you do like that overall look then you could keep it but even with the sony a7s3 i still do have to use this plugin every now and then again not all the time but sometimes i do um especially if it's like a super dark shot it won't really work out on all these footage on all these clips just because of the fact that it's like all these are pretty clean but a few things to keep in mind when you are using this plugin you definitely want to have this step in your workflow last just because it's very like straining on your computer and you will notice it start to this like just overheat or just like the fans kick in on like hyperdrive so doing this last i highly recommend you do it last and um yeah just just letting you know forewarning you when you are using this plugin just because i mean it is like basically fixing your footage okay so yeah if we zoom in like crazy we could see a bunch of this artifacting right here um, and you start seeing like blotches. So um, one of the things you can do um, is just hit auto profile and it will find the best spot possible. And yeah, again, sometimes it'll be like this, the, the square is too, too low. So um, we could find like, you need like a decent size of the frame to find like the noise or where a majority of the noise level is. Um, you just definitely like gotta play around. So right here, we could zoom in. I found one. And the key too is um, you don't want to have your noise level like be super high. Like you don't want like a 10 and having to fix it. You wanna keep it around like a one to five that I've noticed just because if it's like anywhere past like seven in terms of noise level and you do, you are using this plugin, you will notice a huge shift in like how much it had to fix and it will make your shot look worse than it, what it, already was in terms of like trying to fix it so this is usually like a, a great point where i want to start when it turn when it comes to like finding the noise level so when you do find your part of the frame you just hit auto profile auto fine tune and then go back and go to the noise filter setting and when you do click in you can see a difference so when i click on it that's um this is the original, this is the, the denoiser. So it cleans it up a lot. And again, like this isn't that bad of a shot in terms of like noise, but you can see the difference in terms of the artifacting. And when you look out of like the entire frame, it looks really great. And another thing that I do is I go to spatial, go to sharpening, enable, and just tweak the sharpening a little bit. Um, I don't like that much sharpening, but again, since you are removing noise, you are going to be sacrificing a little bit of detail. So applying some sharpening really does help. And again, um, if it is a super long clip, expect this to render out pretty slow. That is a plugin that I do use for fixing my footage if I ever need it. Um, again, it, it does cost quite a bit of money, I believe. I think it's like a hundred bucks or 120 something like that but again it saved me a lot um there is that short film that i did that nike inspired one with uh, mason coons that was on the sony a7 III and again like all those are super noisy shots a lot of those are super noisy shots just because of the environment we were in and like i still was yeah but anyways i use neat video a lot just to help like save a lot of my footage if you don't have the sony a7s3 you could definitely still get some really great low light with using this plugin again just be forewarned that it is a huge strain on your computer so you want to do this part last in your workflow for when you are editing or you are in post-production of a film and it legit works like magic it's like what happened to the noise it's gone it's it's crazy like the software we have nowadays is insane but that's all i got for today's video hopefully you learned something um, again, link to neat video will be down in the description below. 
Um, like the video if you liked it, share if you enjoyed that, consider subscribing if you're not already, and hit that bell notification to stay up to date when I post new videos. As always, follow me on all on social medias at Aaron Zatsu Films, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.